Okay, so um, I beta test. Uh, I have a friend who's a dev developer. Um, so here's iPhone 4.0. Um, read the description, please. Most of the information will be about what I'm doing will be in the description. Uh, that was the lock screen. My home screen. Um, multitasking. If you double tap uh, the home button, you'll see most of what you've done. Um, stupid glare. Uh, let's start with the settings. Okay, first of all, general. Um, let's see. Um, 4.0 build 8. A two three zero M also comes bundled with the 6.0 carrier file and for those of you who care about jailbreaking I personally don't um, it changes your baseband to 05.13.03 um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're considering jailbreaking uh, networking still no tethering um, <clears throat> although I really don't care uh, location services, if you watch the keynote presentation, check my description. Um, here's where you can fine tune your uh, location services. I noticed they moved the home button option uh, from these guys. They separated them. Um, now the only uh, way to search is to go to the first page and scroll to the left. Um, anyways, they added one new option. You can now search your messages. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, everything else is the same on the generals. Um, wallpaper. Uh, you saw my wallpaper, so I'm not going to change um, anything. But uh, you can now set home screen, set box screen, set both. I mean, if you watch the keynote, nothing new. Um, so watch the keynote because uh, I'm just showing basics and also read my description because there's a lot of information there that I'm not read, putting here. Um, in your mail you now have the option to sync your mail, calendars, and notes which I think is neat because I remember I went through a whole process getting my Google Calendar to sync so it's nice that I just click on uh, or tap on and it automatically does that. Um, another thing like it showed in the keynote organized by thread so that's cool. Um, let's see, everything else. Oh, messages, there's a new feature, character count. Uh, so I know most of you guys won't care about character count since we have unlimited text messaging, but I think it's neat. iPod, lyrics, and podcast info. Um, that's all on that. <coughs> uh, iPod, you now have the option to add a playlist. Uh, I think this is in part due to people who are whining and just want more and more because if you remember I still use an iPod Nano version 2 so I remember when all you have is the uh, on the go list that's all you can create um, anyways if you wanna also I can't do any uh, anything music wise to show you guys anything um, funny Funny story, read my description for that. Um, not so funny for me, but it's funny. Uh, Google, the only change they've made is right there. Uh, it's now a little arrow instead of that one. So you move out of the way and it's just an arrow. It's kind of cool. And if you see in the upper there, um, upper, <laughs> in the uh, task top menu, whatever whatever you're going to call it, um, my, my mind lacks uh, any functioning right now. Um, it, there's that purple arrow, which they show in the keynote, just telling me that my location is being broadcasted, um, or requested, not requ broadcasted, requested. Uh, if we go to um, a text message, um, one that I was talking to my uncle about earlier, um, uh, you have to fill up the first uh, first line, pretty much, uh, for the watch right above send. If it'll show up. Uh, hmm. 
Yay for glitches. Um, bugs and glitches, that's what you get when you beta test. There we go. Finally. Showed up. Usually it shows up after I hit the second line. Um, but finally showed up. That's character counter, which I think is neat. Anyways, um, <clears throat> if you noticed uh, one thing I had tapped, it, you'll notice there's a red line under that, kind of like when you're on the um, internet and you misspell a word. You can tap it and it'll give you recommendation or no recommendations found. Um, if you uh, reject a spelling um, recommendation, it'll still underline it. Now there are two ways to do a spell check on this. You can either tap the word and it'll show you don't dot don't or you can select it and now you have cut, copy, paste and replace. If you tap that, it'll give you your options. So I think that's kind of neat. It surprised me. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Um, photos. Uh, I can't do anything with this. I don't know if it's uh, meant for geotagged. Uh, but we have albums, events, and faces. I'm guessing events is uh, geotagged and uh, faces recognizes the people in your pictures something like that I don't know <coughs> um, game sensor is kinda pointless right now doesn't do anything um, let's see I think that's oh mail um, you now have you have the all inboxes you can choose one you can choose the other um, yeah, whatever. Email me, guys, if you can see that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure somebody will try. Um, but it'll put all your emails together. Um, I currently have no emails, so can't see that. Uh, folders. Last one. Um, actually, the game folder is easier to show. Uh, you tap it, and it opens. You have one of three ways of closing it. You can either retap the folder, and it splits, or closes, op uh, tap anywhere else on the home screen, or tap your home button, and it closes it. Um, I really love folders. I'm an organiza organizational nut. Um, now, if you want to organize your folders, like I have a folder of news, uh, you can drag it onto the home screen. And here you can also rename it if you want. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you two things. Okay, here's how you create um, a folder. You have icon 1 and icon 2. Take icon 1, as they show in the keynote, drag it in. And that's that. And you have your option naming it. Now, to get rid of a folder, just drag it to the home. And notice that the folder is still there. Now, if you create a folder, and you don't hit the home key and you're still editing, it will just uh, it will split the uh, folder into the original two apps. But if you don't and you're editing, then you actually have to pull both apps out of the folder. Now what I meant by what I just said, still editing, drag Stitcher onto the NPR news and it creates the folder. But, oh wait, no, I don't want that folder. Grab Stitcher take it out and home okay there's a bug anyways ignoring what I said right there uh, let's put my news back the way it goes that's a bug I'm gonna have to test because uh, it doesn't always do that sometimes when I take the last app out of the folder um, well not the last one the second to last it automatically changes it back to the original app so bug nice to find bugs um, but that's pretty much it that's uh, iPhone 4.0 uh, I like it because it saved me a lot of pages anyways um, read the description if you would because uh, there's a lot oh oh last thing Safari those of you who um, used to have bookmarks on your home page uh, know that if you opened up the same bookmark over and over and over it would keep loading um, another page it would uh, pop open a new page 
and then a new page, and then a new page. Not with this, uh, which I really like, because I now have a sort of a home screen. Um, it just keeps opening. Uh, it just keeps reloading the same page, so you no longer have that um, with five of the same pages. Uh, and also, there's no transition. So if you open up three different bookmarks on the home page, see how it doesn't show you the last page you're on, and then um, switch over to the new one? Uh, I thought that was kind of cool, that it doesn't do a transition. It just opens up that page. Anyways, that's iPhone 4.0 uh, Beta 1. Um, so read my description, please. Uh, there's a lot more information there. Thanks.